Today I'm gonna to show you how to make arms for your clothespin dolls. And these are the arms that you see that actually look really nice, that um, they're basically bendable and adjustable. And it's what it is, is it's you just take a piece of wire and you're gonna cover it with embroidery thread. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, what I typically do is I get a lollipop stick, which is the exact length that you want your doll's arms to be because you're gonna bend it around the doll and pose it in whatever fashion you want, okay? Well, I'll take a piece of the florist wire or the jewelry wire and measure it out against the lollipop stick and you should have a pair of wire cutters and these are really cheap you can get from any craft shop and what I do is just cut it down to size to fit the um, the same length as the lollipop stick now this is actually a little bit longer than the actual lollipop stick because sometimes in you get that other tool you want to bend the arm the arms in so you can make little hands okay you're gonna need a glue stick some embroidery floss and you can pretty much use any color embroidery floss that you want for the arms of your doll it's up to you be creative now I started this one a little earlier and I'll show you what I did you basically are going to take uh, your piece of wire and you want to coat it a little bit with some glue and that will help the embroidery floss to um, the embroidery thread to stick to the wire. Um, if you use a glue stick, it's not messy and it doesn't dry all clumpy and everything, so it won't look real icky later on. Okay, all you once you have your let me put some more glue on here. Let me just let me just do it. Sometimes it's easier for me to just do it rather than talk about it a whole lot. See if I can get in a little bit closer here for you. So there's the glue. And you don't have to be too neat. That's the fun of arts and crafts, to be messy. Okay, put that over there. And then I'm just going to start twirling or twisting or wrapping, whatever, however you want to call it. And see how you just want to keep wrapping your wire, your thread, around your wire so that the thread covers, I hope you can see that, so the thread covers the metal, the exposed metal part. And let's see, here we go. And just keep doing that all the way till you get to the end of the wire. I'm gonna do it really kind of quickly here. And I just smoosh it, smoosh, I guess that's a word, between my fingers. And just wrap it, because you, you wanna wrap, and if you see exposed wire, if you see the metal, just push down and the the thread will um, cover up that little gap. So I'm just going to keep spinning and spinning it here. Now, these arms are the cutest and the most versatile for your clothespin dolls, but they take a little bit of time and patience and effort and energy. I honestly, I hate making them because they're so much like work. It's a lot easier for me to actually make the dolls and their clothes than the arms and I haven't really found any better solution as of yet when I do you'll be the first to know um it took me a while to figure out how to make these arms um I got a book I found a book uh called we felt folk and I'll put that link on my website somewhere for you and the lady who wrote that book, she gives a real good detailed explanation of how to um, do arms for these little dolls. She does a different type of doll, little ones made out of felt, whereas, you know, the clothespin dolls are made out of uh, an old-fashioned wooden clothespin. And see, it's taken me here. A little bit of time and also the thing about making these arms ooh, your hand can cramp up like mine's cramping up right about now okay so I'm almost to the end and ok 
Okay. Oh, about to get a serious hand cramp. Okay. But, okay, just gonna keep wrapping. And it's a little messy because it's glue and it's arts and crafts, but that's the fun of it. And making it unique and original, isn't that what it's all about? So as you can see, I wrapped the embroidery thread all the way to the very end of the wire. Okay, now I'm going to just cut that off. And it's up to you as far as what point you want to put the arm into your doll. But you probably want to do it before you start dressing your doll and then it'll be a lot easier to work with. So there you have it. It's pretty simple. Um, I had a piece of white. Started with a popsicle stick to measure, a piece of wire, the length you want your arms to be, your doll's arms to be, some embroidery floss, a glue stick, some scissors, a couple of little jewelry things that you can get super cheap at the dollar store or Walmart or any arts and crafts store. Um, so I finished with this pair of arms or set of arms and I'm just going to bend it in a little bit and as you can see I this hand of this doll is still exposed a little bit but you can just go back and uh, run a little piece of uh, thread back through it to cover it I'm just going to take my little clamps here and I'm just going to bend the arm in oops sometimes it can you can mess up a little bit but it's okay so I'm just bending the arm in and then I'm going to close it and neaten it out. And all this little extra boo-ha-ha -ha that's hanging off. You can just cut that off. And ta-da! Now you have a clothespin doll who's ready for some clothes. And she's going to have arms and she can hold things and baskets and candles and say happy birthday and everything. So once again, I hope you have enjoyed... Um, my little video, my little how-to video, making uh, clothespin doll arms with wire and embroidery floss. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and feel free to stop back by. I'll be making more videos, I hope. I'm sure. And if you like the videos, do me a favor, a big, big favor. Do all of us a big, big favor. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.